They were in the NCAA tournament two seasons ago, and not only did they make it to the tournament, they won a game and made it to the round of 32. Bowie down the lane for two. Four points for Bowie. Pat Spencer going from lacrosse to basketball. One of the most transferable skills is that field slash court vision. Bowie finishes. He'll have a chance for the old fashioned three. Take a look at Bowie, a little in out dribble, changes his speeds. Nice finish by Bowie, a lot of confidence going to the hoop as he absorbs contact. Forget the early three point shooting struggles in this game because in the second half of the second half, they've come alive. It's a tough, tough move. Floater from Bowie. That's something good for Boo Bowie. Got a foul. Young players, every small guard. Their team or just the basketball court. And this team has gone through so much together. You talk about John. I'll ask you later who you think your top five in the conference is right now. Oh, great. Across the floor, there's Boo. Bowie gets the bucket and the foul. Where a team like Northwestern fits, I mean, they're not in the top five, but ultimately the teams that are fighting to get out of the basement. In the Big Ten, here's Bowie, and Bowie's going to try a three, and he hits it. Marcus Bingham switched out onto him. Boo Bowie, who's... Shooting 17% from three on the year, confidently knocks it down. Here's Gaines, one on one with Winston, steps through and lays it in. Points a game, that's last in the Big Ten. Did shoot 52% against the ball. Here's Bowie, a long three, and he drains it. If there's one man that can bust the zone, it's Cop. He gives it back to Bowie, he lets it go. And Boo Bowie says, Yeah, I can bust a zone too. Now 12 of 23 from three in his last four games after this, May. I'll tell you what, I, I would like to hit. Turn around, it's a last second shot or a three. I mean. Here the abound. That's what Boo Booey can offer off the dribble. Coach Ben, oh, he's in pain. I think if Northwestern can get into the lockers with about this deficit or closer, they got to feel really good about it. Boo Booey with his first basket. <laughs> you know, trying to. Exchange the pleasant How about Boo Booey getting out there to get a finger on that? That might get his offense going. Here he goes. Yep. Comes up with the block. And Spencer, good recognition knowing that Boo Booey made that play. The Wildcats 6 and 15 overall, 1 and 10 in league play. Nice slip down low to Young. Up and under, and that'll count. And one foul on Johnson. Solid man to man. And that provides an awful lot of space inside for the screen and roll. Bowie dribbling in traffic. Off balance and a count in one. Watch Boo Bowie here, Corey. I used to be able to do this on the nerve hoop. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a difficult look. Right there from Lundy. They just haven't made it. Bowie on the drive, difficult floater off the backboard. You take Northwestern out of the action, they're trying to run. Ryan Greer off the bench. Here's Bowie, deep three with a shot clock winding, and Bowie with a big bucket to break that 9 over. run. Here's Bowie, step back three, that's good. That is a pure jumper from the press. And here come the Wildcats, it's Bowie on the push. Bowie changing speeds and hits off the glass. Thorburn Yarnison is a three-point shooter this season. One of the things Fred Horberg has loved about him is he is a very good reader and cutter. He understands, makes the right reads, and he makes the right cuts. Shot clock at seven. Spencer with four to shoot. Extra pass to Bowie. Going to have to attack. Bowie's runner with one on the shot clock falls. First team's eight. Well, it's a good extra pass from Nance, and Mack got a hand on it, but you know, Thurier, Thorburn, Yarnison. Bowie coaches that one down, his first bucket of the game. Rockington averages eight points per game, and just two today. Bowie, what a crossover. And he hits. He drew the foul by Curtis Jones Jr. too. Young and Oturu. Oturu ready for the challenge. Young says, I think I'll kick it out to Boo Booey. And Booey ties us up at 36. Boo Booey did the exact same thing last game against Penn State. And here comes Morris. 
Over Nance doesn't go, and Cop running the other way for the Wildcats. Here's Bowie. Strong to the hoop and the foul. And strength at the rim. Who's going to check me, Boo? Who's going to check me, Boo? Nobody. He got tagged. That three we saw from Lynn was the fourth make in the last five attempts for the Golden Lions. Now a turnover to answer the steal. Bowie's got game. Who throws down the jam? Under six minutes to go here in Evanston. And a steal from Bowie. Numbers for the Wildcats. Barry lays it in. Bowie for three from the wing. Splash. Boo Bowie with his first field goal of the night. That's number four on Barron. You can see Adige take that ball to the right. It's a misdirection. 27 points. Now here's Bowie driving right at the lane. Lobs one to Nance for a slam dunk with two hands. So some of the numbers of the Michigan State bench helping out big time in this ball game. Keeping them in it. Great drive by Boo Bowie. Chris Collins talks about Gaines as his middle linebacker on the floor, not just in size and his body is Bowie. That one was good. What a shot from Boo Bowie and the energy beaming from Northwestern. And how about come off this ball screen, fired up from deep. Bowie's got 12 early and the Northwestern bench is absolutely loving it. They've been sub 200 the last few years under Archie Miller. Here's a three on the other end. That man can fill it up. Boo Booey. This is a Northwestern team that likes to push the ball more than they did last year when they were the least experienced team in the Big Ten. It leads to looks like that for Boo Booey with his first points of the game. The success I think that Ohio State can have moving forward because he does what? He's able to stretch the floor for this Ohio State team. Gaines, the captain, got it from long range. All guys by six after Keegan Murray with his first bucket of the night. Turn in the corner, Bowie on the run, and Bowie floats at home. Northwestern did a really good job on Luca Garza the other night. Another big man challenge here as Nance gets the first two of the game. And for a team that is without two of their uh, point guards, it sure don't look like it. Suing, though, making a mistake there. Eighth turnover of the night for the Buckeye. And a strong side rebound for Nance. So this is your center bringing the ball up the floor. Oh, he can rebound and push it. Nice center. Bowie finally connects from long distance. Demetri Trice last six games shooting 48% from the three-point line. Yeah, he has been on fire. And the offense picking up here on both ends. Bowie with a rudder. A walking bucket, absolutely. Tremendous career at Binghamton for two years. This is his first year with Penn State. Here's Boo Bowie. And the threes are starting to fall now. But also uh, looking for a quick turnover. Ryan Young has to do something. Now Boo Bowie does. That is going to be a bucket. In the corner, Boo Bowie. So after the double team comes to Nance, they work it around to the sophomore. And this is what happens when you double team. Ball goes inside. Williams comes in with the double team. Nance does a nice job of facing the defense. Brian Young now has six on the other end. Mathis missing from point blank range. And Bowie the other way. So Northwestern 6 0 run. Bowie hits the three. And I love that Steve Peichel has embraced it, empowers him. Young blocked away. Bowie with a nice play defensively. Here's the defense on Jacob Young, Boo Booey, not giving up on the play. Coming up at the half, send it back to Rick and Ben in our Chicago studios for the State Farm halftime report in just a couple of minutes. Here's Boo, oh! and somehow got that to drop, and the foul. You see Northwestern, nice action here to start. Good floor spacing as well. Booey off the window. Or whoever knocked it out, right, ended up, you know, being the one that uh, did not have the ball. As Bowie drains a three, a dozen now for Boo Bowie, and Northwestern has taken the lead. That they could handle, and then some right now. 
And that last game you mentioned, Maryland will play Penn State Sunday here on the Big Ten Network is Boo Booey. Once again, going to a big guy, a little bit off the post, but still Maryland wants to double. Good feed, but Barron. Maryland protects the paint. Bowie splits the defenders, floats it up and in. A lot of threes, not on this last play. Yeah, initially, there was kind of a picket fence set up, not allowing the penetration. But Bowie, with a little sleight of hand, splits the D and gets in the paint and creates. And Walker this time turning it over. Already five Nebraska turnovers. And it leads to Young using the pivot foot. And that's what makes all of these games so important, especially since the NCAA tournament is going to be played in this location. Yep, right here, Lucas Oil Stadium. Boo Booey, nice floater. Impressed by Hamlin here. Showing great poise, the guy that's used to playing at this level. There's Bowie hitting it right back, and it's 7-4. Robbie Barron can play that wing position when he's asked to, especially on the defensive end. High point still in this zone look. And Bowie gets an open three out of it and drains it. You got to think head coach Chubby Smith went to the zone. This takes a look at it on film. He's not going to be happy about. We see Boo Bowie drop the Wildcats first three. St. Hilaire continues up the court. He's going inside again, this time met by Nance. And the pass is loose and stolen by Bowie. Three on two, lob for Simmons, who puts it home? A big part of that's been Pete Nance. He can play on both sides of the ball. He's so versatile. We'll see him again here, getting down low. He floored St. Hilaire with a screen, and it set up Bowie to drill the off the dribble triple. Yeah, so a lot of teams are trying to make up for those lost times, and you have to take these games and as you mentioned, FDU will play St. John's on for, on Saturday. Bowie and Virginia. You just try to give it a chance up off the rim, but you just can't let an offensive player spit, split that easily. Bowie with the contact. Bowie, Bowie a chance for three on the foul from Durham. You've got to trust his ability to shoot it, so Al Durham's going to play from behind. He's going to trail. Such an integral part of this team the last couple of years as a walk-on. Some stability for Georgia with all the losses. Second three goes for Boo Booey, Northwestern's fifth. With good offense, right? You, you may not think 5-12 is great, but they're getting great looks. Too, too many saggy. Look, I'm a little more positive than some people. That's that jersey attitude, as always. Bowie hits third three of the first half. The elbow's oh so fine as Boo Booey's sticking it. But that's what you want. He knows what he can get now, getting by and sneaking along the baseline. Boo Booey, nice spin move in the finish. Hits the trailer, loses the dribble. Bowie, nice head fake in. Two dance for the alley oop. Wow. <laughs> Good screen from Kelly. Frees up Robinson, but the pass is poor. And Barry's coming the other way. The love for Audiz. He and Gabe Brown, the veteran leaders of this Michigan State team. Boo Booey on the drive on Tyson Walker, and a contested layup goes for Boo Booey. Northwestern is on the board. Into the painted area early here. This is not good enough defensively. It's just a blow by here. Boo. And the undisputed heart and soul of this Penn State team. Boo Booey with the shot fake and drops it in the well. And then Boo Booey playing off two feet. Watch the pivot foot. Goes up strong. Nice finish. If you lost it, hey, we didn't have our guys, but you're exactly right. That That's one on the resume you want to have. Great nice. pass by Boo Booey as he finds Nance for the easy lay-in. We dance the rebound. Booey now for three. And that one goes. Here's this air ball. This is a tough one if you're Caduce Wahab. But then Ian Martinez comes down trying to get a steal. Adige has nine already. Gives it up. Booey. Never shy to take a three, and Boo Booey now has eight as he hits a second triple. Maestro on the perimeter. Just knows how to read a defense. The freshman goes under the screen, and Boo Booey says, look, I've been around a long time. And, and they're usually pretty successful at it. There's Booey across the foul. And they do count the basket. And it comes down to Roper. Crowd wanted a foul. 
with Edie being hung on, but no whistle. And then Bowie hits a three, and just like that, Northwestern is right back in this game. Northwestern is going to get the final shot here. Boo Bowie drives, stops on a dime, and lays it up and in. Ball pop and blocked. Boo Bowie. Bowie with the help. Barry, transition three, and the crowd's back in it. 8-0 run over the last two-plus minutes of this game. Bowie, one last desperation heave, makes the shot. Mulcahy in transition, knocked away by Adij. Ball on the floor, and Northwestern comes out of it. Adij ahead of the back, and he throws down the jam. With the dunk, and then in transition, that's what Northwestern needs to do. Adige leaks out and is able to finish it with the dunk there. First African-American basketball player in Nebraska history, Wilbur Wood, played from 1908 to 1910, helping the Huskers to three straight second place finishes in the Missouri Valley Conference. That's where Nebraska was from 1908. Excellent size, handles it well, good feel for the floor. That's why he's playing the point position. And Bowie drops the three down. Didn't really have great spacing on that fast break. They had numbers, but weren't able to capitalize. Bowie, little Euro step, pretty move, and he got it to roll around and down. That was really impressive. Kicks it out to Bowie. In on Ivy and lays it in. So the first two for Boo Bowie. Great cut to the front of the rim by Lowe. His first three-point make of the game. At a different pace his second half. Bubui pulls up, and there's no contest. That's what Bubui wants to get into. He wants to Let's see if they can find him. Bubui left open. He will take the three and hit it. Bubui who had six threes the last time these two teams played. And as a result of getting high percentage looks, that they are converting at a high clip. I've always liked Ryan Young's game. You know, He's not going to jump over phone booth, but he's always in good position. He is. Give all the credit to Chris Collins for dialing that one up out of the timeout. And Bowie knocks down a three, and Northwestern has their first lead since six minutes into this game. Neither Stephen Bardo nor I endorse the eating of any elephants Thank on you. this broadcast. Thank you, Kevin. You, you're a wise man. <laughs> Bowie with the three. In fact, I would discourage it. And now it's Corbett driving against Barron, and his pocket is picked by Audis, who has Bowie for the two on one. Bowie gets the finish and one. How about that sequence from Audis? As we see here, it makes a fundamental bat pass for Boo Bowie. It's great to have it back as Northwestern and Boo Bowie hold to the final shot. So Bowie holding on, final 10. Drives. Right hand! You no, know, we're gonna take a look first at the buoy right hand jam elevation homes. Getting up there, and I talked about earlier, Collins really wants him to produce as there's a oh! cutback tip from Matt Nicholson. That was a good fight. He had good position there. Got inside the body, right under the basket, just couldn't quite corral it. Bowie's first triple goes down. And the Wildcats have their first lead of the contest. Uh, that's a big time pull up jumper again. And uh, you're going to have to make contested twos against this Northwestern D. There's Boo Booey knocking down the three. College basketball is presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. Inbound goes to Booey. Uh, three seconds in the half, two seconds on Deej at the buzzer. Yes! Chase on Deej knocks down the triple, and it sends us into halftime. They need him on both ends of the floor. He's 6'9", he's so skilled. He can do so many different things. Bowie draws the contact, count it, and a foul. Boo, Bowie at the rim. Yeah, that was terrible. And certainly, you know, they're not doing that this year. Got a couple of home games, giving this team a chance. Force a steal here, Deej has a step, and the hammer! I mean, Errol Penn looks like a big East player. Off the crossover, Bowie knocks down the three, his second made three today. 
They've got a pretty good practice squad. They do. They do. Those guys could really go, could score the ball. There's Bowie. No look pass for the dunk. It's Nicholson upstairs. DHO. Boo Booey strings out the big. More two-point attempts here today than, than three-point attempts. He's 0 for 2 from 3, but he will throw up some, some three-point attempts. He's got some high-volume numbers in that area. Audige oh, takes it all the way. Connected. Northwestern guards doing a good job of talking out. Browns off the ball movement. Audige oh, getting out in transition. Oh, a great job by Nicholson. Running coast to coast. Boo Booey pulls up. He knocks down the three, and just like that, Northwestern's back in it. Illinois is getting some pretty good looks from three. I think if you're Brad Underwood, you're going to take these. Just got to start making them. Nice pass. Bowie feeding Nicholson. Over the top of Dane Danger. Matthew Nicholson finding this little pocket pass. Chris Collins' offensive playbook. They've got more plays than almost any other team in the Big Ten. Not surprising, considering the academic prestige of Northwestern. Nice floater, and then the nice hands against Jalen Hood, Shafino. Tunes well, coming in here. For, for both teams. Some tired bodies on the floor. Great Bowie. pass. Good slip to Nicholson. Saw that coming. Dickinson got a hand on it. How about McDaniel? But he misses the reverse. Everything but the finish. And now in transition, miss a layup, give up a dunk. A tail as old as time. Here goes Bowie attacking Ilber. Got it to go and the foul. I mean, backed up, got a full head of steam, up fake. Put it on the deck, getting in the paint, making plays. And a quick lob underneath to Matthew Nicholson for the flush. That's a thing. Such an important player out for them. Their leading scorer, Garcia, is their leading rebounder as well. Bowie finds a way to break that zone with a shot around the left elbow. This is what you got to do. Attack the closeouts. Nice floater. Connor McCaffrey on the other end, running the break. Good job of transition defense that time by Northwestern, and they pick off another one. Boo Booey running the break. Jordan Cornette, like he's talking about, you got to play through the big guys more. He was basically making a statement to his coaching staff at Notre Dame that you did not throw me the ball enough. Booey with a reset, seven to shoot. Up top, Nicholson took advantage of the mismatch. Yeah, a beautiful pass from Boo Booey right there. This is a W at home that you need to figure out a way to take care of a beautiful play coming oh, out yeah. of the first possession and this is that movement side to side that open it up a beautiful drawn up play because boo boo is going to draw so much attention to him i think matthew matthew nicholson has done a great job defensively i mean he works his tail off it is hard to hard hedge and then get back and stop him Bowie on the drive, gets it up on the glass and in. Boo Bowie so crafty, gives Northwestern a little momentum as they head to the locker room, but it's been a first half controlled by the Boilermakers. Bowie, looking, working, driving inside. Hook is good! 2.7 to go. Hood Shafino for the win! Off the rim! Northwestern knocks off their fourth game against a ranked opponent who's averaged 20 points over the last nine points 20 and 21 win it for Northwestern tonight instead of relaxing let the game come to him Bowie on the step back Ooh. pure Ooh. much better rebounding team than Northwestern but the Cats finding opportunities on the offensive glass oh, Bowie. Exploding to the rim, wow. count the bucket, and one more at the line for Boo Booey. It's a little matchup zone that they go to man to man after the initial pass. Booey up top, and there's Nicholson throwing it down. Here's Booey. Booey loves this matchup. Leads, floats, and ties the game at 37. Garrett Simpson. Lost one of his shoes there, but got it back. And to the bucket, Boo Booey. But 
Just a beautiful snake dribble through the paint. Gets off two feet, the leaner. Penn State has more turnovers than field goals right now, five to four. Bowie rips and drives. And count it. Boo Bowie.